Rams linebacker Elvis Doomerville, the NFL sack leader, suffered a torn pectoral muscle in practice Wednesday that could sideline him indefinitely. Doomerville is going for another opinion to get a more specific idea of how much time he would miss, but it's been suggested that he could miss as much as four months. And here's the recent timeline on Doomerville. He led the NFL with 17 sacks last season and signed his one-year tender on June 14th for a little more than $3.1 million. Two weeks ago, he signed a six-year, $61 million contract extension with 41 to $43 million guarantee. And then Wednesday, the torn pectoral muscle. Susie, it is a torn pectoral muscle. It's going to sideline him at least four months, and that probably means that Elvis Doomerville's 2010 season is over. No team has suffered more key injuries this offseason than the Denver Broncos. They lost their starting Pro Bowl left tackle Ryan Clady in a knee injury while he played basketball. Over the weekend, No. Sean Marino and Carell Buckhalter both were injured. Neither serious, but then Elvis Thurmerville at practice on Wednesday tore his pectoral muscle, and that now means that they're going to have to rely on former first-round picks Jarvis Moss and Robert Ayers to step into the lineup and step onto the field and produce somewhere near the level that Doomerville did last season when he led the NFL at sacks. It's one thing to suffer injuries, it's another to suffer potential season ending injuries to key Pro Bowl players. It's exactly what has now happened in Denver. Well, that's going to be really tough to do. Consider this. He not only led the NFL with 17 sacks last season, but he also had the highest percentage of his team's sacks. Bonnie Holiday, who's now in Washington, was a distant second on the Broncos with five.